Joining us right now, former State Department spokesperson, former National Security Advisor to President Obama's 2012 presidential campaign, and Fox News contributor Marie Harf. Also joining us, political editor of Townhall.com, Fox News contributor Guy Benson. Good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good guys. to see well, you. Congratulations on the new radio show, which starts Thank on you. Monday. Thank, Thank you. We'll get to that in a moment. But your reaction to what we just heard from Mr. Giuliani? Well, it's been fascinating between Hannity last night, Fox and Friends, and you this morning. We're getting lots of new details from the Trump camp. And some of it contradicts what they said previously. So part of what we're hearing now in the tweets this morning from the president, this is a new story that might be true, but we've heard now multiple stories, and I'm not exactly sure what to believe. Well, I mean, the, the point, I think, Jason Chaffetz, of making the announcement or revealing the fact that, yes, in fact, the president did pay $130,000 to Stormy Daniels, I think, was an effort on Rudy Giuliani's part to get this campaign finance uh, illegal issue off the table. Well, fo following the money trail is going to be relatively easy, but the question is going to be the proximity to the campaign. Why was that payment made? When it was made? What was this agreement? Did Donald Trump, you know, he didn't, his signature's not on it, his name's not on it. So as they go to battle this out in, uh, in a court at some point, which is partly the court of public opinion, right. Rudy Giuliani's trying to make a, a, make a case that, hey, this had nothing to do with the campaign. Oh, why okay. would it have anything to do with the campaign, Marie? Well, this morning, Rudy actually got pretty close to saying that it actually did, that one of the reasons they paid the money was because if she had gone public a month before the election, that it could have negatively impacted Donald Trump's campaign. So it was interesting that Rudy Giuliani said that um, the president had not known why this was paid off, but he did reimburse him, which addresses one campaign finance issue, but not the issue of whether they were trying to impact the election by keeping her silent. And that's where the money trail and some of the emails are going to come out. Don't forget Michael Cohen has said all along that he didn't get reimbursed. So now you have Michael Cohen on an island telling a very different story than Rudy Giuliani. That will be an interesting dynamic to watch. Both of the president's lawyers, right? Right. They <laughs> represented him in different capacities, but Cohen saying I was never reimbursed, or he said actually he was. And imagine if this had all come out in October 2016, which sort of links it into the campaign. To the election. And then you've got yeah. Trump and Sarah Huckabee Sanders in the last few months saying that we knew nothing about any payment. And I said, well, actually, we did, but we're just finding out about it 10 days ago. It was only $130,000. But I still don't I still don't think, in the big scheme of things, this is much ado about nothing. I think two days from now, this thing comes and goes. Probably. It has nothing Probably. to do with well, Mueller other, and collusion and Russia. That's true. The other networks like talking about it because they get to say porn star in the Chiron. And, and the they get to show her with, like, little outfits on. <laughs> if you look at what though. these shows lead with, it's like porn, 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 right. porn. The it, bigger an issue obsession. and the bigger misconduct has to do with what has gone on at the top of the FBI and the Department of Justice. Yes. And the oh. fact that there was a massive abuse of power and the leadership there really did try to change this election. Do you disagree with that? I would just say this. I think that, and to your point, even as we've gotten this drumbeat on Stormy Daniels, especially on some of our competitors, the president's approval ratings have gone up because the economy's doing well, North well, Korea and other things. But here's the thing. I agree with you, Congressman, that when I look at whether I approve of the president's job performance, the Stormy Daniels thing is irrelevant to me. It really is. However, if the White House is telling us lots of different stories and lying unto itself, that should matter even if yes, what right. they're lying about That's doesn't true. really matter. Yes. Because what else are they not telling the truth about? Right? That's if you the can't credibility. trust the credibility, and that's a problem. And so I think Rudy's trying to get their ducks in a row. It sort of seems like he's trying to get one consistent story out there. We'll see how this plays out. Well, uh, Gi Giuliani is also working on the Russia probe. Right. Can right. Robert Mueller ignore the fact that there was no intelligence used to launch an investigation into so called collusion between Trump and the Russians? Can Robert Mueller ignore all of the issues around Hillary Clinton, that she, the, uh, an exoneration letter was written before she actually had an interview, and all of the issues around how they handle the email scandal with white gloves? All I'll say is this. The reason that I've been vociferously in favor of Mueller in the investigation all along, and I still am, is because I want to know what happened in 2016 with Russia and our election. If it turns out that he comes out with recommendations of charges or whatever, and he's gone very far afield from that core mission, I'm going to have a problem with that. I hope that's not what he is doing, because he has a job. It's an important one. Mm -hmm. And if that job morphs into get Trump no matter what, that's not okay. There have guy, already he's... been criminal charges referred by the Inspector General, Jason. About McCabe. McCabe. Right, about yeah. Andrew McCabe. That's right. absolutely right. I'm just putting that out there, because I'm... I'm 
I'm having a hard time having special counsel doing all of this work on the Russia probe when we have all of this information about this abuse of power. But the only pushback I give to Guile on that is they seem to be solely focused on Trump on such a wide array of things, things that have nothing to do with the election, you know, interview questions for Maria. For Maria. Um, why aren't they looking at the Democrats? Why aren't they looking at Hillary Clinton? We know that the DNC, Mark Elias, general counsel, is sending tens of millions of dollars. The general counsel doesn't seem to be, or Mueller doesn't seem to be looking well, at that Mueller at all. Mueller seemed to be going after Podesta's brother, and there seem to be some strands yeah. in the Democrat world that Mueller is pursuing. We haven't heard nearly as much about that stuff. Maybe they really aren't, and they're turning a blind eye to the Dems and only focusing on Trump. We're not going to know until the report finally comes out. But if there was Democratic collusion, and I, there's some weird stuff with Fusion GPS, and that Russian lawyer who went to Trump Tower, they met with How her is that there same not day. Collusion between the Democrats and Russia, given the fact that the DNC and Hillary Clinton paid for the dossier. Well, there's a very there was money exchanged hands. But so there's a very that, different that thing between working with the Russian government or agents of the Russian government. This lawyer that went to Trump Tower was working on behalf of the Russian government. Then Fusion GPS paying a former spy who happens to have Russian citizenship. No, Those are different things. The Russian government is the one who interfered in our election. Election. They're the ones who stole emails and released them. Right, but that them. has nothing to do with Trump. But that, well, we'll see. Well, but and, jury's and, and, still well, out on that. How long has this investigation been going on? Those are very different things. How long points, has this investigation though? been going on? A year and a half? I think yeah, it'll I, get wrapped up soon. Maria Steele, the, the gentleman who put together the dossier, had high-level Russian government sources that helped tie Former. that intelligence to, uh, to Trump. And also, the Fusion G GPS piece is important because that Russian lawyer acting on behalf of the Russian government at Trump Tower met with the founder of Fusion GPS that exact day before <laughs> and after the meeting. And That's a Democratic group. And the wife of Bruce Orr, who was the number three guy at the DOJ, worked at Fusion GPS as well. Uh, so. uh, the Inspector General report, which should come out in May, Marie, are you, yeah. I mean... Are you all in and buying whatever he comes up with, or are we going to... Well, are you all in buying what Mueller comes up with? You want to take a look at no, what he's done? No, because I don't think it's been... I don't right. think it's so, been balanced, and I don't think there was any probable cause to go in and look at it. I think but, when these reports come out, we will all take a look at them. We'll, talk, we'll take a look at who they interviewed, at the questions they asked, and at that point, you'll look at what Mueller comes up with, we'll look at the IG, and we'll talk about it then. We got a pretty good idea of what went on at the <laughs> FBI and the DOJ already, and we have a pretty we'll good idea Jim of Comey where... Didn't. Jim Comey looks at Brett Baer in the <laughs> face and says... I don't know that the the Democrats and Hillary Clinton that funded was the stunning. dossier, and that then was told a lie. Then told a lie and said, "Well, the Republicans started the funding of it, which had, which we know is not true." Now he literally either do, either he's a idiot or he's a liar or both. And yeah, and and Benson and Harf <laughs> is debuting Monday, airs weekday six to eight p.m. Guys, congratulations! Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. We will be tuning Thank in. You. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back.